Hello, my friends. Let's today talk a little bit about the metabolism of time and uh, quantum fluctuations instantly influencing our body's metabolism. But first, a poem from Rumi. I'm like a remnant of a cloud of autumn, uselessly roaming in the sky. Oh, my son, ever glorious, your touch has not yet melted my vapor, making me one with your light. And so I count months and years separated from you. If this be your wish and if this be your play, then take this fleeting emptiness of mine, paint it with colors, gild it with gold, float it on the wanton wind and spread it in varied wonders. And again, when it shall be your wish to end this play at night, I shall melt and vanish away in the dark, or it may be in a smile of the white morning, in a coolness of purity, transparent. And one more. On many an idle day, I have grieved over lost time, but it is never lost, my Lord. You have made every moment of my life you have taken every moment of my life in your own hands. Hidden in the heart of things, you are nourishing seeds into sprouts, buds into blossoms, and ripening flowers into fruitfulness. I was tired and sleeping on my idle bed and imagined that all work had ceased. In the morning, I woke up and found my garden full with wonders of flowers. This is as good a meditation as any, and we need to be grounded there all the time. But now I should go a little further. In every moment that we call the fluctuation of time, sabriti, um, our metabolism is instantly influenced. I give you bad news, your metabolism speeds up, your heart rate goes up, your Platelets get sticky and jittery, your body gets inflamed, and then I give you good news, and suddenly everything changes. Fluctuating moment by moment in the tides of time. But the tides of mind are the fluctuations of the timeless. And if you ground yourself in the timeless, then the fluctuations of time also cease or diminish. That means metabolism takes on a different experience. And where is metabolism, where is experience occurring, occurring in formless consciousness? Always remember. And that form, formless consciousness is free of time, is timeless, but is also engaged in the productions of time. So fluctuations like sea waves heaving up and down in the ocean of time. And these two poems, the first is getting lost in the ocean of time, in the timeless being. And the second, that um, the timeless is orchestrating everything that happens in time. There's a lot of practical value to this because um, the ancient wisdom traditions say that time is the consumer and we are its food. We are time's food. So how do we change our consumption of time? This is something we'll be talking about in our consciousness studies, tutorials, and masterclasses. So on a very practical level, so you can actually practically engage in changing your body, reinventing it by resurrecting your soul. Thank you.